what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house and we are back with the sadness <laughs> you know um it's been a while actually since i've watched this i watched the first five episodes of rainbow i was watching this alongside parasite right i was watching this alongside parasite and i was enjoying parasite so much i know throughout this whole time I've been saying this anime it's a very depressing anime I don't recommend anyone <laughs> I don't recommend anyone to watch this anime like like to binge it right and that's what I'm about to do today I was watching this alongside Parasite right and I went ahead and I binge watched Parasite because I was enjoying it so much not that I wasn't enjoying Rainbow um, but because of the fact that I couldn't watch more than two episodes at a time, because it's a seriously depressing anime, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't think I've ever watched an anime with so much emotions behind it. Like, not necessarily that, you know, it's an anime that's going to make you cry, because that's not the only emotion that can be displayed, right? But just there's so much, um, not, not suspense, but yeah emotion behind it like it stirs up so many conversations um you know and to look and parasite was doing the same thing so it was kind of like i just really wanted to get parasite out of the way so that i can concentrate on rainbow as an anime itself so today is a special day today is a special day because i am planning to go from episode six to the end of this anime so from here forward it's going to be double uploads okay the reason why i'm doing that is because i really don't want to lose sight of the story in this anime and because it's kind of like um i just knocked parasite out in like i think it was like three days right knock the entire thing out it's done so I'm planning to do the same thing with Rainbow. If if it's going good, and I think I can handle it because it took a lot of sleep, stress-free, got a nice release, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm rested. I feel like I can handle Rainbow for a good amount of time. So that's what I'm going to do. So. In this session I'm planning to try to finish it but if I don't get there then I'll finish the rest of the episodes tomorrow but I'm gonna try my best to get rainbow done because I need to get it off the docket so I can move on to the next thing and start reacting to some other shows so that rainbow and parasite can be ready it's gonna take a lot out of me because I'm planning to my plan is to finish it today and then edit pretty much all day tomorrow to have it ready for when it when it's ready to come out move on to something else but edit to get all that stuff done so it can be ready for you guys okay um for the date that i set if not i'll push it forward no big deal right so we're gonna jump in man if you guys don't know yet i'm gonna say this here once again i'm gonna be saying this on ed every video if you have not subscribe and turn on notification on the backup channel yet make sure you do so so you can get notifications for these videos if you have not done so you're not going to get notifications for my videos if you're watching this on my original channel which is just terabyte reacts okay so you have to go to terabyte reacts and gaming because everything i post on terabyte reacts is going to be posted on terabyte reacts and gaming okay and it's my backup channel so if you want to get notification that's the place to go this is not a thing where i'm trying to get you guys to sign up to a second channel for me it is a second channel but it is not for the purpose of what you may think it's it's basically a backup channel the same content that i'm po posting on my original channel is posted over there also it's just for you guys to be able to get notifications from the channel so if you're watching me for the first time that is the situation for some reason notifications are completely broken on my original channel and this is the solution that i came up with okay so 
if you guys wouldn't mind and do that i would really appreciate that also if you guys are watching this right now all the episodes that for rainbow is already out on early access the way how you do that is to join the chan the original channel membership okay that's not available on the second channel it doesn't have enough it's not monetized <laughs> yet so you can't join the membership over there so you have to join the membership on the original channel so you can watch all the rainbow episodes at when you want how you want as i said it's only two dollars a month it's actually a dollar 99 us dollars you know if you want to support your boy if you enjoy the content you can sign up over there for that tier okay appreciate you guys um for doing that really do um if you decide to do that okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna jump into the show and i will see you guys right after right after these two episodes make sure if you're watching this on the google drive make sure you come back to watch the review okay um so appreciate you guys let's go do this yes sir I wonder if it's because Sakuragi knows what what this guy is up to with the with the kids. It is messed up what they did to him, man. Mm. Yeah, now what you expected, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. ちょっと君。え、俺ですか。さあ、君だ。なんだか顔色が悪いようだな。顔色ね。顔色を引いてるんじゃないのかね。熱を。いいえ、特には。確か、横須賀ジョー君だったね。はい。うん。<笑> 
Guys, disgusting, man. どうするんですか。あと For no reason, dude. Trying everything to provoke him, man. Uh, Sakuragi is a real one, man.
I'm sorry, but they would have had to put me in prison, bro. I, I swear. They would have had to put me in prison because I'm going to figure something out. That dude is dying. Oh. Killed himself. Bruh. So is that what it is? Oh. So that's what he knows. あんたと佐々木が萩野を自殺に追い込んだんだ。あれは自殺なのか知らない。お前らが殺したんだ。殺したんだ。どっちにしろもう関係ねえことだ。てめえが喋りに出ることは不可能なんだからよ。あんち
Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, Ishihara is probably going to go down as one of the most hated characters in anime, right? I mean, the guy is relentlessly like just one of those people that it's just like you 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 can't help but just have pure hatred for a person like that i mean for for for, for whatever reason it is for you to have this kind of ideology of i mean these are not even they're not men they're little kids and for them to be doing stuff like that like well the thing about it is this too why is it for the money I guess it is for the money because he is being paid to basically sell the kids to the doctor. So it's just to me, it's just like he's worse than the actual dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to compose myself because it's late at night. I'm trying to compose myself because... You know what? Let's just get to the next episode. Let's just get to the next episode. そうですか。<laughs> oh, that dude's been listening. Ah, oh, shit. He's so dumb. Why you? Come on, man.
あなたにはショックかもしれませんが事実ですなんか理由は分かりませんが桜木への一連のひどい仕打ちには佐々木先生も一枚噛んでるんですそうなの村上明日の昼お前を迎えに来る少年院に戻ろう桜木もお前も誰も死なせない約束する Who is this? Yep. Shit. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. You know, people just can't be discreet about stuff. Like, I mean, seriously. Like, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, okay. Kunagai, Kumagai, whatever his, whatever his name is. Do you guys live anywhere? Like, is there a world outside of this um, juvenile facility or whatever you want to call it? Like, is there... There's obviously a world outside of this, right? Can't they report this to, you know, some higher ups? Why is everybody trying to take this on for themselves? Now, I mean, I know probably he would need proof of this going on, you know, before reporting them. But to take on the responsibility of, you know, trying to... <sighs> It's just that some, sometimes when it comes down to anime, and as I said, an anime can be grounded, but it still has some some loop, some some plot holes that just that just doesn't make sense. You get what I'm saying? Because, it, it, you know, I've pointed out a couple of things, you know, as I was with that, only in anime. Right. So there's there's some things that sometimes I believe like, you know, as I said, we're still early on, so I don't want to judge it too harshly um yet but if i was kumagai right i get to go home you know what i'm saying because it's not like they uh, unless they it's unless they live there like they have to live on because usually when it comes on to guards and stuff like that in prison they get to go home you know what i'm saying they don't live at the prison they get to go home so my thing is if you know of something like this happening why not go report this to the police, let them do an investigation and stuff like that as, as you know what I'm saying? But now the director knows, you know, why are you even, I understand that they're trying to protect um, Mario, is it? I think it's Mario, right? They're trying to protect him. And I, I get that. But I think maybe they're going to kill Kumagai now, now that they, they realize that he knows, I think they're probably going to try to take him out. I don't want to see that happen because obviously Ishihara and the doctor is, they, they're in on this together. They're trying to protect themselves because two of them, as well, they, they Sakuragi knows, he kind of have proof. Maybe he doesn't have that, that, um, that suicide, note anymore i don't think he has it anymore but if he does it, it will strongly strongly suggest that they that they were the one that drove him to this and the thing about it is that there's a there's a kid that he's actually molesting currently right now this is nuts let's go Setting him up, man. He's not there. They moved him. Oh, 
してんだろ熊谷先生が来るはずじゃそうだ Probably locked that nigga in a cell or something. They kill him? Yo, what did I tell you, man? What did I say? さて、these niggas need to be more discreet with what they're doing. That's what they need to do. Why haven't they done anything to the nurse? もう2年も遊びに入ってんだ。だから出所した時出迎えに来てくれる奴がいるかどうか。本当は俺たちが出迎えてやりてんだけど、こっちはまだ1年以上の平和の中だもんな。だからさ、節子さんにあんちゃん
それでどうやってここから逃げ出すんだそれもまあやっぱり考えてねえのか<笑>よし俺が今すぐ絵図を描くおめえらに任せてたとじ君そうだからな丸本言っとくけどなこれはあんちゃんを逃がすためだけの計画だお前らどうなっても知らねえよ<笑>上等じゃねえかあんちゃんを逃がせんなら少年刑務所でもどこでも行ってやるよだとよすまねえみんな本当にすまねえ<笑>そこにいたんですか浮原先生佐々木先生そんなに剣を詰めなくてもいいんじゃねえですか<笑>ずっと水を流し続けておりゃコロドが冷え切ってもう生きてはないはずだおまけに食べ物を与える人間はもう誰もいないまあゆっくりと待ちましょう、well, I want to know is where all that water is going Yo. みんなの手を出さなきゃ彼を遠くの少年院に呼ばすことだってできたんだ今度私の指示に背いたら君も熊谷先生の後を追うことになる何してもそれで私たちは派手な行動が取れなくなってしまった大人しく待つしかないもう
not American comics, but I've never liked American cartoons. Never really liked it. Like as I got older, I got I realized when I go back and watch some of these cartoons, um, some of them were classic. Don't get me wrong, were very enjoyable. But when I go back, I was I was like, where are when you talk about the new stuff? When I start see the stuff that my nephews watch, when I when when I um, watch them grow up and the cartoons they use were like Ed, Ed and Eddie. Like that doesn't teach you anything. You know what I'm saying? Like when I watch those those cartoons and I say I was like, this is just so dumb. Everybody was looking at it and it's like, you know, cartoons are supposed to be fun, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? But they are cartoons and then they are cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Even the ones that are like they go for like 20 minute episodes, just like an anime, right? They just when you actually look back, it's just like, what was this about? You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it about? Like, I would love to see them. I think they are making a, a live action Thundercats, if I'm not mistaken. I think they are making a Thundercats um, live action movie. I would love to see s stuff like that because, you know, that's my childhood. You know what I mean? But when you talk about American comics, there's nothing original that is really like really good that's coming out or at least people are not buying american comics so mangas are just like you know and the thing about it is this too america as they have the budget they have the money the mangas and anime studios they don't have that man they don't have that and it's not even about it's it's just amazing to me how how and how you know and if it's like you can find a good anime to watch you can find a good manga to read like pretty much just based on recommendation and stuff like that like if you ask somebody like what would you recommend if i was supposed to read comics right everybody's probably going to probably suggest either some marvel or dc comic right there's really no variety it's like and the thing about it is this the thing about comics too and this is a problem and i know i'm kind of like going in in, in a direction right now that you probably didn't expect but i'm going to talk about it anyways the problem that they have is that they get the main comics they get stuck in this loophole of superheroes and that's where the issue is because they're kind of stuck in this niche of just creating superheroes and it's like over time you know what i'm saying over time it's like how much how how many different kind of powers can you come up with to give a superhero you know what i'm saying so there's not much there to work with so when it comes on to um this series like a series like rainbow that gives you a different perspective on things you know what i'm saying i don't know what the manga looks like but i can imagine it was drawn pretty well and it's telling a story it's not about superheroes and even if you were supposed to go in that direction when it comes on to manga you still can find great anime and manga stories original stories my hero academia you know what i'm saying which have to do with superheroes and uh, just coming up with an original way of thinking about superheroes in society you get what i'm saying just just new and fresh they can't do that and it's it, it just very surprising to me that they can have pretty much all the budget you can give them and they can't come up with something original it's like I don't even know how to describe it it's ridiculous but um when it comes on to this anime man i'm enjoying it but at the same time i just want to kill that doctor because people that do stuff like that man you know it's amazing to me how these people get away with this stuff for so long it's just amazing to me you know what i'm saying like people will not get caught on to this stuff and it's like 
the victims are so traumatized in such a way especially boys boys live with this stuff for so long and they never talk about it and is is that a is that a result of society itself you know what i'm saying on how society t- treat men and how society kind of downplay our feelings and stuff like that maybe it may be that situation you know what i'm saying where you know our mental health is not really taken into consideration you know um as so much we be like you're a man suck it up and move on but when traumatizing events like this happen to you what are you supposed to do when you can't really tell anyone because people is not probably not going to believe you because it'd be like oh you're a man but we're talking about boys here little boys that get taken advantage of you know what i'm saying and i don't know i don't know why you guys suggested i watch it because you probably want to get my take on it but you're going to probably hear me say some things throughout this you know watch through you're going to hear me say some things and probably hear my views on a lot of this stuff you know um and when i actually when i actually think about it because i love when storytelling goes in these directions of bringing a perspective to you that you don't think about every day that you really don't concern yourself about every day so it's good to have these conversations because at the end of the day you know what i'm saying there's plenty of you know real life people that are going through this whether they be women or men you know what i'm saying that go through this kind of sexual abuse kind of stuff and it's just it's to the point where it it's, it grinds my gears man and it gets me upset because it's like people shouldn't have to go through stuff like this they shouldn't have to but it does happen you know and it, it's just crazy to me but anyways guys that is all i have to say man these two episodes were incredibly done the way the, just the anime is just it's incredible it's very thought provoking and i love that now this plan that they're coming up with as i said man hope keeps creeping in and it's very slight you know what i'm saying it's very slight i don't know what to say about that because it's like this anime i just feel like it's just not going to have a, a happy ending i don't feel like all seven of these guys are going to survive this i i don't think so and these these two ishihara and the doctor i, I think his name is suzaki is it suzaki no I, I don't remember his name but the two of them will go it seems like ishihara i, I don't know I'm going to put this out there as a theory. I don't know if this is going to happen, but I feel like Ishihara was a victim of the doctor as well. I feel like it. I feel like he was a he was a victim of the doctor as well. I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know. I just feel that way based on the last interaction that he had with him. There's no way a grown ass man this little doctor dude like He's got to have some sort of trauma in his life. I feel like Ishihara has been through some stuff with this doctor too. I just feel like that. But we'll see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Whatever. Um, so yeah, man. Incredible episodes. I'll see you guys for the next one. Make sure you like the video. Remember to comment. And as always, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.